Hello everybody, welcome to today's Story Lab. Today we are going to be doing an active listening Story Lab. So while I read the story, you're gonna look at this paper and you're gonna think, what did you like best? So in this picture, the boy and the girl are reading a story about a cat, and the boy's thinking his favorite part was when the cat took a nap. The girl's thinking her favorite part is when the cat ran with the yarn. So you might have a favorite part that's different than somebody else's, just like these two have, and that's okay. The main thing you need to do is just think about what you liked best. And at the very end of my story, you need to tell somebody near you what that favorite part was. So here we go. I just hung that up. So I want you to think about that as we read. What we're going to be reading today is a classic. It's called Where the Wild Things Are. Okay, it's written and drawn by Maurice Sandick. where the wild things are. Where the wild things are. Written in story and pictures by Maurice Sandick. That night, Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. And he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. Sorry, the pages are stuck together. And grew, and grew until the ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. and in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and gnashed their terrible teeth, and roared their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. Uh-oh. But Max said, be still, and tames them with the magic trick of staring in their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And they made him king of the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Looks like they're having a pretty crazy rumpus, a pretty crazy party. And they kept going. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being the king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. And Max stepped onto his private boat and waved goodbye. and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him.
and it was still hot. The end. So your job is to think about what you liked best about the book. My favorite part was when Max finally went home and he had dinner with his family. That was my favorite part. I want you to tell somebody at your home, somebody with you, what your favorite part was too.